Are we getting a new animated series about Captain Rex after the events of Star Wars The Bad Batch? Well, let's talk about it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Sector for Nerds. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Put up lots of great content every week between videos, shorts, live streams. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. So today's topic of discussion is going to be about what Star Wars has planned next in regards to their animation division. Now, I'm just going to specify by saying I don't know what their plans are. This is pure speculation on my part and sort of where I think they can take things. There is still a lot of time in that Revenge of the Sith to a New Hope period where you can have different stories play out with different characters and, and a lot of things that can go down. That's honestly why I thought The Bad Batch was going to end up being more than just three seasons, but as it turned out, it stopped at that time, but that doesn't mean that there aren't more stories to tell. You have so much time between Bad Batch and even just between that and Rebels. And that's where I think you can have this show about Captain Rex, and not even just about him. You can have Echo in there, you have Hauser in there, Gregor in there, Emery, people we've been assembling in Rex's Clone Rebellion. Those could be like your five main characters right there. You could include Commander Cody in the show as well, Commander Wolf, stories that we started to see shape up in the Bad Batch. And man, I'll, I'll tell you this much, like when it came to Bad Batch Season 3 anyway, I think like Rex's Clone Rebellion story was like the most intriguing part of the whole thing. I thought we were going to get Rex and his boys helping out during the Tantus run because that's what they kind of set up with events that went down when he was talking with Wolf and he said like, look at what the Empire is doing to our brothers. We have to stop them. And you know what? I've even got a name for this show as well. You can call it Star Wars Renegades. Make it about this group of renegade clones on the run and trying to fight back against the Empire. And then we can maybe even tell the story of like, how do we get from the Captain Rex that we see in the Clone Wars, in the Bad Batch, to the Captain Rex that we see in Star Wars Rebels, who's out of the fight. And at, in the time when we first see him, isn't really interested in getting back into it. Like, what happened? Another thing we can see, and something that I thought we would see in Bad Batch, is the TK Troopers transitioning into Stormtrooper armor. We can continue the story not just of, of clones, but of other characters as well. We could put Quinlan Voss in there. We could put Asajj Ventress in there. Even if you don't necessarily bring them together, they're both still around at this time period. Have Senator Chuchi in there. I was a really big fan of, of Chuchi in Bad Batch, you guys. Season 2, like, she really stood out to me, and, like, I, I kind of wish they would have had a little bit more for her in Season 3. But yeah, tell what happened to her, and I have a feeling that her end may not be great, considering we don't ever really see her around much in anything else. But you know another thing I would like to know if we are going to do a series about Captain Rex is how and why did he separate with Ahsoka? Is it because of the fact, you know, we hear Ahsoka say, I'm tired of fighting, but then we see in Bad Batch that Rex is still all about the fight. Could that have been, I'm assuming that would be the thing that separated them? Regardless of whether that is or not, I want to see it happen. And do Rex and Ahsoka see each other in this time frame at all? Ahsoka says in Rebels that she lost track of Rex like a long time ago. But is there any circumstances that can bring them back together even just for a brief moment? And tackling into the stories as well of, of people like Echo or Hauser, we can explore them a little bit more too. And, you know, maybe we get to a point where we start, you know, obviously Rex and, and Gregor would have to survive because of Rebels. But some of these other people here, Emery included as well, maybe we have like a big scene where like some of these guys die. And, you know, not that I'm hoping for it. It'd be nice if, you know, the clones just had, like, their own little retirement home away from the Empire and didn't have to worry about all the bullcrap that they're bringing in. But unfortunately, Star Wars doesn't always have happy endings. So yeah, you guys, that's, that's my big pitch. Star Wars Renegades. If I was there helping run Lucasfilm, that's what I'd do. And you know what, you guys? It's actually funny that I bring this up because in a few weeks' time, I'm actually going to be making a video about if I was the one in charge of Star Wars, how would I run it for the next you know, five, six years or so for the end, for the rest of the 2020s. With everything that's gone down, what, what could I do with it? Stay tuned for future content. That is going to wrap us up for today, you guys. What do you think of my idea for Star Wars Renegades? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know all your thoughts. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with others to help support the channel. 
and I will see you guys next time.